Guys, they said it is over for Antigui at her, as her ex-husband storms the palace with some, some of his elders, begging Kabiesi to please release Mariam because uh, she needs to return back to her children. The reason is because they said for over two years now that uh, the mother has been taking care of the children. She's not doing what she's supposed to do as a mother. As in her own mother has been taking care of her own children. Instead of her to be supportive, you know, visiting sometimes to know how they are feeling and all of that. She's not doing any of those things. And then the mother is complaining bitterly to the ex-husband. And you don't expect that man to come and carry the children and they keep in, her, in his house again after some time. Mariam will carry fights and go and meet the new wife. Because we heard that the man have remarried, you know. And the man was staying with the children, with the new wife. But every time, they said, if we will carry fights and go and meet the, ma the woman, why will you scold my child? Why will you do this? Why will you do that? If you don't want another person to take care of your child, why not take care of your own child? Take care of your own children. And the worst part is that the other time we heard that uh, uh, one of the sons was critically down. They said the mother had been begging her to please go to Queen Naomi and uh, uh, apologize to her. Because information have it that they carried the child to every, uh, every places. And at the end of the day, they were told that it is uh, what Igbi did to uh, Tadenikao that is backfired to his own son. They were begging her to go and talk to Queen Naomi and they beg Queen Naomi for forgiveness so that her own son would be better. They said she did not do it. She never did it. It was the mother who let her went to Queen Naomi, begging Queen Naomi, you know. And because Queen Naomi is who she is, they say she let her pray for the child. So the mother is now fed up. They said everybody is worried. And the worst part of it is that information have it that uh, there was never a proper divorce between Igbi and the husband before she jumped into marrying Kabiesi. And this is bringing a serious problem. And maybe that's why she's not enjoying the marriage with Kabiesi, coupled with the fact that instead of her to mind her business of coming to that marriage, she is busy fighting Queen Naomi, fighting how Queen Naomi will not return back to the palace so that she will build the Yeyolua. Yeyolua, <laughs> I used to think that the Yeyolua post is given to, a, 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 how will I put it, a wife to the king and not as wife to another man, you know. But at some point, at some point I will say, are we going to blame Kabiesi for even giving it to her at first? Because information have it that after Kabiesi married her, uh, he gave her the post of Yeyolua and the staff. But it wasn't too long that that post was given to her. They say Kabiesi uh, collected it back to her from her due to her attitude, you know. And ever since this uh, issue of Winami is returning, Winami is now returning. It has been bothering her so much. Maybe because she she thought that uh, if Queen Naomi returns back, she will not she will not have any she will not be the first again uh, because she's seen herself as the first wife of Kabiesi. So they said the husband have come, and when they came, they came in humility, begging Kabiesi to please do them the favor of letting this woman go because. She needs to take care of her children. Yes, she needs to take care of her children. That the mother is already complaining. Had they been, she is always going there to see her children every now and then, making provisions for everything that they needed. The mother might not be worried. After all, I do know that uh, grandmothers like to stay with their children. But that is when the mother of the children is showing much concern. Mm-hmm. So, they said the man has been begging Kabiesi to please uh, 
please and please. He even came with some of his elders to tell Kabiyesi that the, there was no dissolution of this marriage at first. And if it is from where I came from, <laughs> any child he, she has in this Kabiyesi's house will belong to the man as long as they did not dissolve the marriage as it should be. Okay? So even but the second PSC have been telling the man that at this point he doesn't know what to do again because he he is already fed up with the marriage with uh, uh, Ibi. He he have been trying to dissolve the marriage so that Ibi and Blow Blow will go their separate way, but they are still fighting it. They said they are not going anywhere. <laughs> That it is a do or die affair, that they are not going anywhere. Especially when they believe that uh, Kabiyesi wanted them out because of Queen Naomi. But information have it that Kabiyesi wanted them out because of the bad goods they are giving to the man. They don't give him peace of mind. They always gang up. As a matter of fact, some of these other Oluris, they are the ones corrupting them. They are the ones telling them how to disobey KBS, how to stand against KBS's decision. And this is not what they promised him when he got married to him. So KBS is also uh, fed up with the marriage. But the woman is not giving up. She says she's not going anywhere, making demands here and there. Even when KBS is ready to give her the demand so that she will go, she will still say uh, she's not going anywhere. After all, Kabiyesi did not tell her that um, the marriage is, uh, if you marry me today, tomorrow you tell me you don't, you don't want to marry again. But uh, uh, she did not discuss with her ex-husband that the marriage is, if you marry me today, the next day you woke up to say, no, I have found Kabiyesi, so I don't want to marry you again. See, this life, eh? this life, no balance at all. They said the man had been begging Kabiyesi. And Kabiyesi also promised the man and his people that if there's anything he can do, that he is ready to do it, that he too is fed up with the woman. Wahala de. As a matter of fact, they said the man is not coming for her because he still loves her. No, it's for her to come and take care of her children. Yes, because her uh, new wife was taking care of the children. And every day, this one will carry fight and go and meet her. Why would you scold my wife? If it, my child, if, if any of her children does anything bad, and the woman scold them. It will become a problem. Then come and carry your own children now. Come and carry your children. You know, somehow, Temitepo is better than, than them in that aspect. Because they say Temitepo is the one carrying her own children right now. Their story no good, I beg. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Share this video and subscribe to my channel. And give this video a thumbs up. Bye. I love you guys.